Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for the full moon. All right, in June. Okay, let us get some cards on here. Just random cards. So just speed up the process a little. I did uh, swap out the sun card because I was really having a hard time with the through the eyes of the soul um, reading it. It was such a tiny little letters and it was in a gold color and I, it was really hard to see against the back, black um, background in that. So, but we will get the after tarot and the wheel of tarot. Something's a burden here to somebody here. Let's see what else. You're going to have to use your intuition. You're very determined. And there is an offer coming in. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so we have a bit of a theme of what's going to happen here. And let's see what plays out. Uh, there may have been some anxiety here. It's a blessing. Wow. Look at that. It's a love blessing. And it is a financial blessing by the looks of it yeah intuition you look like you may be that high priestess so collective oh okay so queen of swords in reverse is somebody that's kind of malicious deceitful unforgiving and this may have been somebody in your energy or your person's energy here so we're just going to put some cards down random Okay, and we will begin with your sun sign. This is how you express yourself. Um, maybe how you see yourself or how you feel about yourself. All right, and we'll look at the bottom of the decks after with the um, spirit's advice. And I'm going to do the time cards, but at the very end, I want to see what timeline we're looking at. I looked um, at the book a little more and I got some more information out of the book that I can use towards the readings. So let's see what your sun sign has to say. So it looks like there's justice here and with the justice we're looking at balance, Libra energy, doing something right or paying some karmic debts here. Having that light and dark side balanced out, finding that balance. Ah, you may be healing some chaos that happened in your world recently. Um, somebody may have, you may have, somebody, whoever this is um, that I'm speaking about here, may have dumped out a blessing. Now they're dealing with major car, um, karmic debts and chaos. Having to heal all that. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Security. Ugh. They may, may affect their security here. And they're trying to get their security back. This may be you. You may be going through this. Or this could be your person. So take it however it resonates to you. Yeah, there's this could be a Capricorn. Uh, this also could be... Uh, Capricorn Libra in your chart you could be a Libra with Capricorn in your chart there's something you desire or you were maybe obsessed about or your person was and they're having to heal this which really coincides with this healing chaos let's see what your emotions are saying you're having to heal some desire here or toxic energy what is it here Believe in the impossible and work through your fears. So there may be some fear here about something, about maybe dumping out a blessing here. Because this is usually something from the divine because there's the cloud and they've taken it, but they've poured it all out. Not wanting it. Huh. It's kind of... Um, lack of interest in it or a missed opportunity here they may be pouting about this as well so let's see believe in the impossible and work through the fears and this is blue moon and new moon in scorpio so something here has to heal 
may be about a Capricorn, but it, it could be a Libra that is um, healing from a Capricorn or vice versa. Take it however it resonates. What's on the bottom of the deck here? Time to give rather than take. So new moon in Virgo. So may have to give back on something here. Collective or your person is going through this. Let's look at how people are seeing you or your person, whoever this ends up being. Yeah, they're feeling like they're out in the cold. Um, a bit of a schmuck for not taking the cup. They poured out what this blessing was, like this fish is something good. A page of cups. This is something of someone that was young hearted young at heart, kind of had that emotional insight, was kind, had major opportunities had you take the blessing or had they taken the blessing. I feel like you may have been the blessing or they are. Take it however it resonates for you. Let's see how people are seeing this. They see this person out in the cold because they didn't take the blessing. They, they fumbled it. Let's see, the M, or the priestess, embody, I am embodiment of the divine feminine. So somebody may have fumbled the feminine here, the divine feminine, right out of the cup. Somebody that was young at heart, was emotionally in tune. She may have left this person out in the cold, so this may be her person that fumbled her didn't see her worth here the amber star let go i surrender and allow myself to grieve so whoever was left out on the cold here is grieving yeah there was an ending here with the number 10 and number eight is action resolution trying to maybe figure out what they were so fearful about why they fumbled it so bad People are seeing this, saw what happened, this person being left out in the cold and fumbling their gift. All right, let's look at the Jupiter here for the collective. Yeah, somebody wants to come back and fight for this new passionate beginning here. Wow. Let's look and see. So the past may be coming back or this person maybe went on to see someone else instead of you gave you up for someone else take it how it resonates wow you may have been this feminine wow oh. yeah somebody may realize now um 44 is ascended masters your ascended masters might be showing this person that you were the love of the life here. You were going to bring them a lot of happiness and joy. They may see now, this may have come to light that you were the gift. They may want to come back to fight for you. Yeah. Oh, six. And that's cooperation and harmony. And I feel like they fumbled that. This could have, they didn't cooperate with what spirit was asking them to do for this contract. <clears throat> and now uh, they may have to come back to communicate something to you with this Knight of Swords. Yeah, charging in that ready for battle, seizing the moment, being unstoppable. No matter, I feel like whoever you're with, they're not going to care. They realize their error here. They're trying to heal all the chaos in their life and fight back to get their security under control here. And seeing what they did, I, they may feel like it was you at first, that it was all your fault, maybe realizing why they're getting this karma. But they know the truth. I feel like they know the truth. Let's look at your love here. What's going on here? Yeah, your ships are coming in and they may have juggled this. Now there needs to be some type of truth come in here. 
with the Ace of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. You may have to adapt to this person. Uh, you may be having your ships come in and feel like this is your person. There needs to be some... There's potential, but you got to see what is, not what could be, right? And number two, this is balance, partnership, duality. This is about seeing both sides of the coin, I feel. Let's see here. Okay, we got free yourself and give your relationship a chance. It's time to take back control in your life, and I feel like you may have already done that. And you may want to work on this partnership. You may have to adapt your time, effort, or love to this person, compromise, and stay optimistic about it. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So well, that's quite beautiful. Let's see what your relationships look like. Wow, new passionate beginning. And I'm only reading these in the upright, by the way. So it's going to bring you a lot of happiness and joy. Now, let's see here. This is a new passionate beginning. You have two new passionate beginnings here. This passionate beginning may come in when this person comes in to fight for you here. What do we got? What is going on with the relationships? <laughs> okay, so there's may have been a karmic relationship where there was triggers and turmoil and resentment and lessons and now they're ready to let go and love you but you're the runner you may be running from this person they may have codependency or fear of intimacy they may be listening to their ego so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here healing the heart healing from heartbreak freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction so it looks like i want one more here cupid zero <laughs> so you might be healing things with this person they may be healing whatever was toxic within this relationship or maybe they had an addiction that was keeping them from coming in for you but there's Cupid Harrow he here. Having faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, or hesitation here. So, I feel like you may be willing to see this as a karmic relationship and run from it and heal your heart from it to have new love come in. Or I see it as you heal this karmic relationship they with this they heal this addiction which could be this codependency and you have faith that love between the two of you will come in or will evolve so it could go either way but we're gonna find out a little bit more i i kind of want to get one more for that and one more for the cupid's arrow and we'll look at that in a minute. Let's see what's influencing things right now. Okay, a broken heart and the Ten of Cups. So somebody feels, <laughs> somebody may be influencing, or this could be inward influencing. This could be what you feel in your own head or what you've been um, feeling inwardly uh, within yourself. So you may be feeling like, well, they broke my heart and I'm really good right now. I'm at the Nine of Cups and I'm doing, I'm satisfied where I'm at and I'm doing okay without them. Let's see, you might have conflicting feelings right now that because they broke your heart and you're doing well, you might not want this person back. Let's see. That one went over, but I guess not. So let's pick one out. Ah, uh, yeah, that karmic relationship, round and round and round. You're thinking that, what do I do? I don't want that. There's go the distance as well. So <laughs> it's kind of conflicting. Is it going to go the distance, or is it going to be a karmic relationship where it's round and round? Let's see. Happy, happy. <laughs> So you may have to get rid of this relationship for something new to come in, or this could evolve to something very happy for you. Let's look at your fortune. This is your wealth and what you see as wealthy. 
Okay, so the Five of Swords in reverse. <laughs> okay, so this is somebody that regrets whatever they said about you um, because this is communicating. So they may have talked shit about you, but they regret that and want to reconcile. Now, you may have already gone over to those calmer waters there and maybe on safe ground or... <laughs> on um, another spot in your life that you're not looking back. So let's see what we see for fortune here. I'm not so sure you're going to take this person back. Let's see. Yeah, you might volunteer some information or volunteer for a charity or worthy cause. You're when you're aging here, if you are an older person, you are gracefully aging. You don't look your age. Wow, you have finances here. Let's see. You may be um, the Six of Swords here. I'm kind of feeling like you've escaped something here. You're moving on. An emotional journey, maybe through your finances, through aging, or volunteering something here. Haha, <laughs> see? I knew it. Welcoming the new. I kind of felt like you weren't going to take this person back. And it looks like you've already moved on from this person. You're looking at the new. Something that's going to make you happy. And with the number eight, that's taking action. And with the number six... That's cooperation. You want somebody that's going to cooperate and be a harmony type of energy, not something that's conflicting and against you. Yeah, you, you end something here. You leave somebody out in the cold here. I feel like they have to find their own way. It's not on you to find that way for them, and it's not on you to take on what's going on in their life. Yeah, it might be poverty here. If you don't leave them out in the cold, I feel like you may experience whatever they're going through, this poverty. This is an ending with number 10 here. So you may be ending your poverty while they are going through poverty now. Maybe they were in a better place before, and now you are. Let's get a couple more. Yeah, lovers. So you're going to have a love come in. And this is that somebody with that's cooperating with you and harmony with you. Yeah, that's a big change for you. It's going to be that fruition, attainment, and fulfillment. Yeah, it's a mature man coming in. I may be talking to a feminine right now. And I kind of felt that here with the woman holding their heart. And this is a mature man. This is not somebody that's going to play mind games with you. They're not going to do silly little boy things. This is a more mature love. And I feel like this is something you're looking forward to. Somebody that's going to get you. Who's going to be on the same page as you. Not going to resist and do all that crap. It's going to be about... Being realistic, being there for each other as a team. You both benefit from whoever. It doesn't matter. It's a team playing soulmate. It's something that's easy, like a best friends type of thing. Your soul family, a deep, warm, and comfy. And it's a deep soul connection. Like, it's so deep. Okay? So deep. I gotta pause for a minute. Okay, where was I? Right, mature male. Okay, um, I did want to uh, do an announcement, so I might as well do it now so I don't forget. If you are wanting to win a free video um, reading, I am doing my secret phrase again, which is posted in the community tab on my channel. So you can go in there and take a look. Please, please be 
a subscriber so if you aren't a subscriber please subscribe before you go into the page there to find out what the secret phrase is I believe it's the second post in the community tab and it gives you all the details on how to win this free video reading that I will send you via email so what happens is I will post the winner on the community page once I pick a winner on June 10th and I will definitely um, post the winner they have to get back to me via email and I will send them their video to them which is personalized specifically for that person so that I wanted to make sure I told you so let's look at these two cards here yeah you may be doing well for yourself you're very um I feeling like resourceful and material success here very practical and reliable and then we have yeah you I feel like you're not gonna be a fool here I, I feel like you may have left with this person and you've caught yourself this time you're not going to do it again I feel like you're waiting for that new person to make you happy here somebody that's actually gonna go the distance with you let's look at what spirit has for you yeah you oh you have a blessing see if you <laughs> this person here is a blessing coming in you are the queen of pentacles once again showing up you might have your own business that you may have started you're actually getting material success and if you haven't yet you will be soon let's have a look and see what spirit has to say for you okay <laughs> outdoors so you may have to go outside to get some fresh air and connect with your nature with nature to relieve stress and gain a new creative idea so you may have ideas that you have that when you go outdoors they may come to light you might get downloads for that and you are safe you are being protected against lower energies and you're getting you're being guarded and you and your loved ones and your home so you don't have to worry about that and healthy lifestyles so you may have to change some of the things that you're eating um, getting more adequate sleep exercise and regularly for your spiritual health which helps you connect with spirit so wow you have a blessing coming in and you're gonna have so much financial wealth coming in as well this is beautiful so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here yeah <laughs> this is coming in oh yeah <laughs> so it's coming oh look at that you're going to decide on which future you have coming in that you're going to plant new seeds there's going to be decisions and you're both have a wand here you're both looking at planning your future wow that's beautiful so it looks like you may have to pull back from somebody that was a karmic and something you got you may have already done this and you may be waiting for this love to come in so let's look at this when is the right moment for your person to come in for you to meet let's find out oh, wow okay Gemini okay search for exchange wow so one week to three months so maybe between now and three months from now because we are I still believe we're in Gemini season so <laughs> yeah wow that's beautiful so till June 21st so there you have it uh, that's kind of a couple weeks from now so <laughs> before it goes into um, cancer season so let's see what else we might get from here well, let's look at this still I mean with Gemini this is something blossoming it's something unexpected account encounter and any questions you have will be answered at this time it will all come together and we have the number three here so this is 
this is you channeling cosmic powers here to create what you wanted. So this is like a manifestation. There's going to be balance here. And I feel like there's going to be fruit from this. This is something that's going to be abundant for you. Whatever question you had or questions you had, it's going to come in for you. And you could look up 2105 and 2106. I know those are when Gemini season is, but it might give you some more information on um, the angel, uh, angel numbers. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Number 12. It is going well now. So it may have been a little turbulent for you earlier on in your life. You may have been healing some chaos. Maybe you had karmic debts to be paid. Maybe you had some issues going through here, okay? But somebody does see you uh, as a gift. And I feel like somebody did dump you out here. And this may have been this karmic relationship that you had but somebody's gonna make you happy. You may have already put this to bed. You are going to welcome someone new. So number 12 is meeting goals. Maybe you've mastered something. You're more mature. You have more things under your belt now, and you're gonna set new goals to achieve things. So everything's going well. 12 days to 12 weeks. And I kind of feel like 12 days to three weeks to three months in that time things are really going to blossom for you this is beautiful awesome you're gonna blaze down a new trail here with this person I love it all right um that is what I have for you for the full moon reading for the collective so be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. If you want any more readings, I do have a TikTok user. Um, it's TikTok at user Chrissy's DD Double D Tarot. So Chrissy's Double D Tarot, and that means the two D's is for Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot. <laughs> it's not my bra size. Well, I can't say it isn't, but <laughs> that's not what it's referring to. Laugh out loud. <laughs> All right, you guys, take care, stay blessed. All right, Lita.